Hey everyone, Tybra Long here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope. If you guys have been on my channel for a little bit, you might have seen that I've played the first game, Man of Madan, and I think I uploaded it as... VOD content. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. Um... I think I uploaded it as, like, just pure stream VODs. This guy. I forgot. He circles back for every game, doesn't he? Welcome to Little Hope. I think this is the next game after Man of Madon, so... Hey, buddy. Okay. Okay, so the deer sign. Was that multiple people on the bus? Thought I was alone. No, there's like four people there. Why do I feel like I'm being haunted? Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Nah. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Okay, so there are people on the bus. days are the toughest and roughest I know it doesn't add up but I get something from holding on to this I mean it doesn't mean much it's fine just a quick detour it's not fine calm down it's all okay oh please John could you not patronize me can you keep it down please okay hello ghost child Well, we're all dead. Bearing updated? What do you mean bearing updated? Was I supposed to do something? Uh, behind my web camera, it was just like bearing updated. I don't even know what a bearing is. 
Let's put me there. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? Let me... You worry too much about... Is this your kid too? Hello? You signed up for this. If this is your child. I'm out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not the only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. You're a deadbeat. No way. You're a deadbeat, dude. Did you, and did you just grab another beer too? Anthony Ten Clark family home. She always is these days. So I have to choose something. Give her a break. She's always been late. I mean, I tend to be on the forgiving side. Of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. Does this take place in the 80s? What a new age bullshit. What? Okay. He came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at him, will you? <clears throat> You're a dick, dude. Do you not see your daughter was sitting right there, right up next to the TV, watching a show? I want to punch you in your fucking face. At least communicate. Dear God, just be like, hey, honey, I'm going to change the channel so I can watch the game. You can have it back. Like, oh, Hey, Bigfoot. Mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Shut your face. <sighs> it was an accident. There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. <sighs> you know what? Check one, two, check one, two. Damn ice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. 
Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you ship that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Um, kind of seems like he's a jerk, but just Dennis doing what he's good at, being really Dennis. What a surprise. <laughs> Not now, sis. I'm busy. <sighs> hey! Quit acting crazy! She's not there anymore. <sighs> oh. oh, okay. Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Oh. I get it. I really do, but that's really mean. It makes her feel like it's her fault. Maybe you should talk Megan? to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? What? How is leave her alone? concerned and go check on her question mark aggressive okay i don't know which one i'm supposed to choose concerned i guess i want to be concerned Probably better to leave megan alone as her big sister it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her right sure like you're the law around here she went upstairs i'll go find her why are you being rude? What? She just wants to check on her sister. Be what? Press and hold R2 to pick up objects. Use R to examine. Some interactions reveal secrets. Secrets you find can be viewed in the collections and characters screen. So it's basically just like Man of Madon. Oh yeah, stoves were started like that sometimes. Press X and time to button may change. Oh, okay. What am I doing? sister. Mom is real worried about her. Tanya's checking on her? Yeah. Reassuring. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. Tanya? You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. I was just nice to you. Fuck you. Check on Tanya. Tanya? Tanya. Check on Tanya. Okay. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. I don't think Megan's real. But... Do me a favor. 
Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Okay. Whatever. Sure, no problem. Not another sound. Place Except is crazy not. enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about anyway. Just the fuck you. You know what? Now I'm not gonna be so nice to you. You that. you've had three chances to Vegan's fix your handful. fucking behavior. You had three chances, dude. So now I'm gonna bully the fuck out of you next time you open your mouth. Where am I going? Wake up. How about you go sleep in a bed? And not fall asleep on the couch? You were aware enough to scold me about noise levels. Open? It's locked, so I need the key from Megan. I think Megan stole the key and is planning to kill us all, but you know. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's just. Let's just, uh. What am I, what am I doing exactly? What? Pupil name Megan Clark. Day attendance 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A 30. 30, 29, 27, 30, 29, 28, total of 173, days absent, she seems to do the best at art, okay. That was a little hard to read, not gonna lie. Anthony, where the hell are you? I'm- Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! What? Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! She just appeared behind me. Don't do that. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Ten. Um. What's going on? <laughs> um. That's not, that's not good. Fucking freezing. What? There wasn't a doll there. Back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Yeah, I think Megan's gonna kill us all. Shit. Megan. Nah, Megan. dude. The knocking, not happening. You you break that door. The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? Megan. Get your family out of there right now. Screw, screw that. Uh, He's too drunk to know. Mom. You would you would know what's going on. Wait, get out of the room. Get out of the bathroom. Get out before the handle's too hot. She locked her in. She did have the key. Nah, slide off the roof. You're fine. You'll break your ankles, but you'll be fine. She, she purposely killed her 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 parents. I would never ever be so drunk that I could not detect fire near me. Megan can't be real. What? I mean, I get that that's heavy, but... And they don't think Megan did that. She chokes. Wow. No way. I'm not saving you. 
You just lit the whole house on fire. I'm saving Tanya first. And now you're gonna haunt me, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, 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 climb down the drain pipe. Use the window. What do you mean, use the window? Climb down the pipe. Get to the drain pipe and climb down. Oh, wait, the drain pipe might be piping hot. She might just fall. Oh, no. Oh, that's metal. That's gonna, that's gonna burn. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. No. What? Go help her. She's not dead yet. Go help her. Even if she broke her neck. Oh my god! And this is why it pays to be nice. <laughs> this, is, this is a lesson in... Don't go... This is why it pays to be nice, people. <laughs> this is a life lesson. Really? Yeah, they played this in Man of Madon. Okay. Oh my god. I was so taken aback by that that I was unable to pay attention enough to clip. There were so many things I could have clipped there for, for uh, TikTok. So many moments just happened, and I missed it because it was too much. I don't think there was a way to save anyone, truthfully. Okay, maybe Blake was right. <laughs> Bless the stream, Adrian. Oh my god. You can go back and clip the VOD. I do it all the time, lol. I might have to. So much just happened in the last 30 minutes. I was so in the moment I didn't clip anything. I, same. <laughs> this fucking guy. Jesus. Why? Why? Hello. Hi. And welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Mm-hmm. Disconcerting, no? Yes, very. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Uh, yes, there is. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Yeah. What's happened has happened. Or has it? 
Anyway, don't play with me. The future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? Solid mixture. There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. And that's My why. for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. Got it. So be myself. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am. Why do you seem upset about that? Allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Mm. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. No. Mm. I won't. I do enjoy a good funeral. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. Now, question for everyone in chat. This is for, this is a recording for YouTube. Should I end it here and just use this recording as like the intro to the game? Or should I keep going and just try to, I don't know, post a longer episode? Because I think the 30 minutes that we just did was such a solid intro. But I do want to play more. But if it is just something we leave alone for now and try to do 30 minute to hour long recordings for YouTube. I'm I'm not opposed to that. I'm invested though. Same. Same here. The reason I ask is because if I end it now, the YouTube video will have an actual outro for this starting point. If I keep going, I'll have to edit it differently. It doesn't mean I can't just use this for the first episode, but it does mean I will fade it out and it won't have an actual outro for the first part. So, it does change the flow of the video and of the entire series. I like the idea of it being an intro. Me too. Me too. You don't want to just record an outro intro now. Not really. It adds... It does add more steps 
to the process. Because if I have to pay attention, like for the longer clips, the reason why I do the fade in and fade outs is because uh, I, I do it based off of time, right? But if I have to do intros and outros, then I am going to have to specifically look for those. And that makes the post-production actually much harder in quite a few ways. Do it to be continued, not necessarily an outro. That's what I normally do. I usually do a fade out or to be continued. What do you guys think? To be continued or an actual outro? To be continued. Don't listen to me. I don't know nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? To be continued is fine. Editing is a wonderful thing. LOL. You have options. Exactly. It's literally my favorite part of the entire process, but I also do too many things already so like sometimes I have to skimp on it but it's so satisfying okay well we'll continue playing this for now and what I will do is I will do to be continued and hopefully that flows well so funeral why are we What's with this series in crows? I don't like that. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Why do you look like Josh from the first game? Or from uh, Until Dawn, I mean. No, not until dawn. That's the quarry, I think. Andrew, 18, college student, anxious, detached. So, I survived. Wait, where am I? Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Oh, bus crash. Oh. Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Ooh. Okay, you said lend a hand, so I'm going to do that. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. I'm on it. I already tried once, but I'm on it. I'll try. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Is the bus driver there, or...? We'll be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Uh. Uh. 
Daniel, 20. College student. Amiable. Defensive. Fuck. Where's my phone? Uh, that guy's dead behind you. There's a body uh, back there. Angela, mature student, abrasive, understanding. These things do not go together. Some of these traits don't go together. Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John. Any idea what caused the crash? The driver's gone. I'm not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> okay. Hey, Taylor, help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Oh. Okay. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. How do you know that? Ooh, reluctant. Why leave the bus? We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. But where's town? Where's the bus driver? Where's Questions. the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He abandoned us, so he probably... No. But, okay. Okay. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right. The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. You shouldn't sound surprised when you're like, I'm right? Oh my gosh. That does not make me feel confident in you I can't the at all. Just taking off like that and ditching us? Maybe you didn't realize. Could hey, Daniel, you guys. I am not a guy. How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? <laughs> Sarcastic, you're a mess. Gee, sorry to hear that. You're right, you look a mess. Ha ha. <laughs> Give her a break. She's got her words all jumbled up. That girl knows exactly what she's doing. No, I did that on purpose. Okay. What's happening here? <laughs> Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel! You got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. We staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. We might have yeah. to. I don't know if we have a choice. Hello, demon girl who caused the fire. Hmm. Well, I don't like this. What does that say? Welcome to... Mm, abandon hope. Mm. That doesn't really inst instill much confidence. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I? Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. 
How do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> what? I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. That's such a weird question. She, he hasn't <laughs> said anything. Einstein, I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. He's not wrong. But technology does help. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. It hasn't been that long. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? What is that? Just a stick? No, it's a metal. Ready? Metal pull. I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. Got it. God, a villain run of this would be terrible. I would just say nothing, do nothing, not react to anything. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. I'm not going to say anything, because I want to hear it. The options were, can we get going and don't need a history lesson. Bad things happened here a long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. Just I'm tell us. I'm not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. He's not my boyfriend, and I'm not wasting my breath on you. Scornful? I mean, I was kind of being a dick, so I'm not going to say anything. Like, I don't have to be rude. Well, that certainly shut you up. Indeed it did. It, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. What do you mean? I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. What are you talking? What do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I what? still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. I mean, they're, nah, they're dead. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. What? This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? Why are then you a dick? Lost it. She doesn't seem right to me. Does she seem sus to everyone else in chat? She does not seem right to me. I don't trust her. And I almost don't trust the, the college professor, but I mean... He's making suggestions about what we should do, so I feel like, you know, he's real, but she's just, like, antagonizing people. No help at all. I was gonna say, she seems like, she kind of reminds me of the mom who uh, choked to death. Little sus, I don't like it. I think the family is back as ghosts. Although they seem to know her by name, so, I mean, maybe she's not that sus, but I still don't like it. I mean, how long has it been since that family died? If it's been a while, then yeah, she could be reincarnated, but... Or she could just be seeing the ghosts, too, like the little girl did. Who knows? Maybe the girl survived. Maybe that's her. Not that I think about it, but... Possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. 
The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. This is sus. This is very sus, I gotta admit. Holding hands. They let go. They let go. What? what? I walked away from you. We're trapped here. There's no way My out. God. I don't understand. Just pick a different direction. Just don't go that way. It's She's fine. Right. We walk dead straight going away from you. So how'd we end up back here? This is smarter okay, than now. Running experiments is a great idea. That's actually a really smart idea. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Stop! D help! Be helpful! Oh my god, can you ch- I'm gonna lose my mind. These games piss me off so bad, because the people are just terrible. And on purpose. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yep, they came back. I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. See? I'm not saying I don't understand her skepticism because, yeah, to someone who's standing right there and two people walk off in the distance and all they see is they disappear in the fog and then they just somehow come back, it's weird. I get it. I get the skepticism, but like, they're panicked. Maybe try to at least calm them down a little bit. Like, don't just be a dick. Tell you. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. No, okay. do do. Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. Why am I hearing an audio echo? Is it coming out of my controller? On me? Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I wouldn't really even be as angry as she is in the first place, so sorry. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Take a breath. Maybe Take it a isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? God, we're losing our minds. This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. Why are you so skeptical of just going and picking a direction? You can't go back to the bus now. You don't have a choice. Just, it's okay. Let's just go and it'll be fine. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. Yes. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's yes. nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Go with Until them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Thank you. Why am I playing her? She's nothing like me. I do not, I do not mesh with her. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. You die? Forget mm -hmm. about it. What they said didn't really stack up. 
Hello, black cat. Oh. I see you back there. Hey, come back. I'm supposed to stick with them. Oh, you're sticking with me? Oh, that's some commitment. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Why did you stop? You're freaking me out. I'm just gonna say that. You're freaking me out. Please keep walking. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. Okay, why does that matter? Like this? Why does that matter right now in this context? What did you talk about and did you blab about us? What did... What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Okay, what did you tell her? What exactly did you tell her back there? Relax. I said nothing about us. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. I mean... Are we standing here all night, or are we going inside? You kind of find that out by dating people. Oh. That's weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. No, maybe don't go towards a guy sitting at a bar completely alone. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? Sorry for busting in like this. Let him... Uh, bus we were on. That was good. What? Take your impatient ass outside and let him get, a, get information. That was, we were learning stuff. Okay. Those were all good questions. Way back up the road there, we're PlayStation. Like the microphone can be used right PlayStation, now. please. Try again later. I'm not talking to you. Please. <laughs> Dear God. Let him ask the goddamn questions. Those were good questions. Oh. Shaken up. He certainly looks shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of- Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. Smart. It's right there if you change your mind. No, no. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What are you doing in here and what happened here? Uh, what happened here is too vague. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here alone? I'm sure you have a good reason to be here, right? Yeah, I got my reasons for being here. Want to tell us about it? You want to tell us about it? Not the sharing type. 
Do I look like I'm a big talker? No, That's just you don't. Me. <laughs> there are all kinds in his play. <laughs> what is this guy's problem? Well, he's drunk first There's off. Definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. No, there's something off. Let's look but around. There must be something here that can help us. He's here alone. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little. No problem. I'm gonna take a look around. Why is she being so nice? You need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Funny. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you? Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. I can't even see the numbers. Am I aiming for up there? Oh. All oh, right, because twenty is at the very top. Okay. Okay. So you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Triple 20. Which is... There? Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Was I? Perfect. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Okay, bonding time. Talk to Vince and search the bar. I'm just gonna search the bar to start. I feel like talking to Vince is gonna start a whole thing and I don't really want to deal with, oh, what is this? Astrology, spirits, or ghosts. Rev Reverend Carlson. This is some great history. Reverend Carson will advise par parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left-hand path to delinquency and Satanism. Hmm. Well, I like astrology, so. And I am interested in spirits and ghosts, so. If that's what it takes to be a Satanist, then yes, call me a Satanist. Hello, Vince. That's not good. Okay. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, booze gone in my head. I can tell. Uh, you okay? You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. I'm not gonna say anything. He's gonna react bad if I do any of that. The options are frustrated, can you help us, and disapproving. Lay off the drink. Nah, say nothing. Little hope is all but gone now. Only thing here now is ghosts from the past. Well, I don't know what else is on the bar other than that drink he poured for me, which I think he drank because I refused, so. Is there a way to get behind the bar? I don't see a way to get back there. Nope, there isn't. Okay, well, I'm gonna examine stuff and then we're gonna head into town, I guess. Meeting... Meeting votes for dis... in... Disincorporation? I remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. Okay. Uh... New round of foreclosure spells end for town. At Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with an emergency manager, Kathy Flint, to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Rev Revend and De Textiles Factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty cough coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the latest rounds of bank foreclosures means the last of the townsfolk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. With no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate, said Flint. It's so sad. These people have seen their town disappear around them. Attempts to... Okay. 
So the town was completely politically like dissected. June 6, 1917. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Okay. Why would I put that back? Okay, let's go. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? That's not good. I definitely heard something. Did... You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. Really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. He's not warning us about anything. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Um. Okay. I don't. I, I don't like it. The Black Cat Bar. So is that where we just were? It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? For his drink. Okay, so now I'm playing Andrew. Don't talk to me. Don't even stop looking at me. You're creeping me out. Just just no. Don't follow me. I don't know you. I have amnesia. I, I don't know anyone. Feeling about this. We'll figure it out. Don't talk to me. The way this fog just appears. It's not natural. Yeah, you can do what you want back there. Can I'm just gonna. Make an effort to keep up? No. I refuse. Oh crap! You really are following me. Dear God. That scared me so much I didn't even have a chance to react to it. Stop. Okay, what was the little girl's name? Does anyone remember? Hey, can you come over here? It wasn't What's Tanya, up? that was the older I just saw someone in the woods. Megan, yes, I thank you. I can't see anyone. Not defensive, insistent. I definitely saw someone. I'll say I that. Definitely saw someone. One hundred percent. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. We're out here at this ungodly hour. You're an idiot. I know what okay. I saw, but we really should catch up. With I'm not about to have a conversation you with you too. about it. We need to stick close. What the hell is that? What the hell? No, 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 no. We need to leave. Did you hear that? Did you see that? that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Don't interact with it. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. Why are you interacting with this thing, random? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Stay on the road. They were on the road. What? <gasps> what? Why did you turn? Why are you facing that way saying, this isn't funny anymore? Like, what? You don't even know what's over there. That could hey, be a bear. They're gone. Hell no. Yeah, we should actually go back that way, but I don't like that. I think it wants us to go that way. Because that's the only place that doesn't have fog. But we're going to attempt to walk this way. What 
What is that? That's not good. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. A voodoo doll. Pretty sure. Yep. Voodoo doll. Hop it. Whoa, hey. What is your name, sir? Don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Nope. Turn around. Shit. Okay. I'm Andrew. Polite conversation. Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Uh, you're dead. Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What makes us trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. That is a sentence that I... C c can't possibly unpack. Reverend Carver's affection for you. First off, that's a weird sentence already, considering she's a little girl. Um, Reverend Carver's affection for you will go away once he knows of your infidelity, which, gross, with uh, the devil. Still gross. All of that is, all of that was disgusting. What the fuck? someone else out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay this place is all wrong did you not see that I'm not gonna they weren't around they weren't even in that scene so this place is all wrong this place is all wrong whatever happened here it's over now you have no clue you didn't see what we saw I don't get it. What exactly happened here? Uh, a little girl. I'm just going to say exactly what happened. This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? I this mean, kid, people talked Mary. very differently a hundred years ago. Did so she want to hurt you? Uh, unclear. Unclear. Anxious. She might be malicious. She could have been malicious, I guess. <sighs> I think that was a bad choice, but. You're burning up. That girl do something to you? I'm about to die. We should all keep I an just, eye on Andrew. I just spoke badly okay. to her. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. That's not good. Well, that escalated rather quickly. That wasn't too bad. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember, 
I kind of have to look at you. I'm just saying. I don't have a choice. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Okay. Or maybe she simply is trouble. She might be. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. No, he's not authoritative. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Perhaps. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Okay, I'll try. Also, they chose a very great choral voice for that. Whoever was doing the Latin, uh, like, hymn... I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a hymn, uh, like a religious hymn. Very nice voice. Uh, choir voices are known to be not the most expressive voices because you kind of, to, to blend in, you don't want to use like vibrato or like grid or anything that would make your voice unique because the whole point of singing in choir and the, the power of it is that you're singing all together. That was very much a choir voice technique. Straight tone, not a lot of vibrato, so, uh, loud, resonant, but it sounded nice. I think it was a little too loud. I think they balanced that a little odd because there were times where like the singing pulled me out of what he was saying. But I mean, it sounded good. Also, I did generally get the gist of what he was saying. So, And that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you return to my channel sometime soon for other videos and other streams I'm going to be doing. And until next time, peace out. Chikage Bushi, signing off. Bye now.